Welcome back guys, so today we will be continuing flip flop. So today we will be seeing the master civil operation for JK flip flop. Our JK flip flop was something like this. So we need to introduce some settings or like changes in our circuit to avoid the tog like the racing around condition. We need to bring the toggling. So the difference between racing and toggling is that so racing is like continuous change of from high to low without like our control we cannot this is uncontrollable and toggling refers to like uh, like we can control when we want zero when we want one so that is the main difference so the change that we need to do is so this is the change So we need to connect this feedback right here and this feedback like see I made a mistake so this feedback needs to connect like this and our clock needs to be like this so this is a proper diagram so this clock is getting here and this is our feedback so this is our master slave circuit for our output for JK flip flop, so uh, I'm writing this is Q and this is the master and this is slave. So let us see how this circuit will work and how it will avoid the problem. So suppose so this is one part. This is called the master part and this is called the slave part. So I'm writing here. So this one is the master and this part right here is the slave. So let us see how the how the circuit will be operating. So the reason why we have used the not get for an input of the, the next part of the clock is that we want so suppose previously our clock is like zero so this circuit will be not act first of all let us see when the clock is one and then we'll see this one goes here and this becomes zero so this part will not be active and whatever the qm that gets stored and it will work for this part only and when this turn tends, changes to zero this becomes one so this part is active and this part does not get active so the previous value is stored so we'll understand this by the help of this uh, like table or like diagram so when it is zero it is zero and when it is one so we can see that the master part is operating and it will like so now clock has turned to zero because it has stored the Q, Q, QM part so the QM remains same so for zero the value is stored now when this changes to one again so this will change to zero now it will keep this zero zero will get stored it will remain for one clock cycle now again when this is one so it gets high and it will store for one other clock cycle so this will continue like this now let us see how the slave will operate the output of this part will operate so suppose for when it was 0 so it will keep on z be 0 so now it is like one clock is 0 so this part is operating so it will go high and it will remain high for this also because now the previous value is getting stored here because this clock will be operated when at the low level so this will work here now again it will come here it will go down for one clock cycle and again it will when it will come here so it will uh, operate again so this is how the clock works so the condition is clock one j1 k1 qn plus one that is qn bar so this is our toggling and we have avoided or removed our racing condition so this was our racing condition which we have avoided now it remains one for one complete clock cycle and zero for one complete clock cycle so this was master slave operation so thanks for watching it